As world leaders gather for the COP21 climate change conference in Paris, the impact of vehicle emissions and how the auto industry can reduce its carbon footprint will be high on the agenda. However, delegates to the conference will already be travelling in one of its solutions. The Renault-Nissan Alliance is providing attendees with a fleet of 200 electric vehicles or EVs. It's the largest fleet of zero emissions cars ever assembled for an international conference. It's forecast that today's 800 million vehicles will have increased to 2 billion by 2050. If the worst effects of climate change are to be avoided, the world cannot continue to rely on fossil fuels to power these vehicles. The growing demands to cut carbon emissions, combined with the recent scandal about diesel emissions, suggests we're approaching a tipping point in the need to switch to more sustainable forms of motoring. To promote and facilitate the deployment of electric vehicles, governments could do more. First of all, developing charging infrastructure, having free parking in the, in the, in the cities. Governments can also support electric vehicles by financial uh, benefits like fiscal advantages for people accepting to switch. The Alliance fleet will give delegates a very real feel for what EVs can contribute in our quest for cleaner air. Many Renault-Nissan employees are volunteering at COP21. What's different about driving an electric vehicle is the, the quietness and the serenity that you get when driving an electric vehicle, but also you have the va-va-voom, but in complete silence. It's a very good experience. I volunteered for the COP21 mainly for my children, for the future. I wanted to also show them that today I can do something to contribute to their future and the future of the planet. Business leaders, including the Alliance's CEO, Carlos Ghosn, are calling on governments to reach legally binding agreements on emissions reduction at the summit. In order to hit those targets and continue to encourage the growth in EVs, governments around the world are being urged to continue to invest in the vital infrastructure and incentives to encourage consumers, and so make a major contribution to reducing carbon emissions.